Welcome back. This is an Alex homework video on recognizing consistency between statements about standard Gibbs free energy. <clears throat> okay, I would call this a hard Alex problem. I'm sorry I start the video that way. Uh, there's nothing hard about the math. It's just that you have to do, you have to look at a couple, of, a couple equations that you've probably already memorized or should memorize and then essentially solve for everything and then see which ones are not like the others. All right, so best I can do is, is do it for you and let, me, let you see me do it and then I'll think you get the hang of it. It's, an, it's not really that hard, but this problem uh, would scare me if I had it. So first I wrote down the two formula uh, that I know, the thermodynamics formula that has Gibbs free energy in it. So the first one relates enthalpy to entropy and temperature, and the second one relates the, the available energy or the free energy to the equilibrium constant. All right, so the way I do this problem, I'm, I'm not sure if you might do it a different way. The only way that I want know to go about it is to set uh, delta G. There's two problems here. The one on the left you have to do, and then the one on the right you have to do. Um, I'm just going to assume that delta G here is correct. If delta G is correct, I'm going to set everything else the same as this delta G is. This happens to be negative uh, because it's less than zero. I'm going to set everything else, both of these equations at the bottom, I'm going to set it uh, less than zero. And then I'm going to solve for whatever they're asking me to solve for at the top and see if it's the same. If it's the same, I'm going to call it true. If it's opposite, I'm going to call it false. All right? So let's look at it. First one I'm going to do is of the uh, equation on the left. So if, if delta G naught or uh, Gibbs free energy, standard free energy, is less than zero, then what it's equal to is less than zero. Okay, so be careful of your fifth grade math. You have to do inequality. So I subtract, um, I added uh, the negative T delta S naught. I had, I added it, then divided by T and got that, that S sub zero, or, or should be delta S sub zero, is, let's see, let me put that so that you don't get scared. Uh, is greater than delta or change in enthalpy over temperature. And that's what it said here. So I'm going to set that equal to true. Okay? I'm going to set that equal to, to true. Now, the, the g is less than zero. I'm, I'm assuming that. So let's go on to the next one. If, if uh, Gibbs free energy is less than zero, then negative RT uh, natural log of K is less than zero. I threw out RT since they're constants, and so I say that the negative, uh, negative natural log of K is less than zero. And then I have to remind myself, because I'm not really good at these natural logs, I have to remind myself that if K is one, then the natural log of K is zero, okay? If K is less than one, then the natural log of k is negative. And if k is greater than one, the natural log of k is positive. So just play with your calculator a minute. Put in a one, put in a, put in a, a 0.5, and put in, a, uh, put in a, something greater than one, and see what the natural log will give you. All right, so I had to write that down in order to do this correctly. So in this case, since negative natural log of k is less than zero, then uh, two things are, 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 are sure. First of all, k is greater than one, and the natural log of k is greater than zero. So I look here and say, I've got a true, I've got an assumed, I've got a true, and I've got a false. That makes me confident that the natural log or, of of your equilibrium constant less than zero is my false one, all right? So I'm gonna go on to the other side. In this other side, I also have, in this case, now I'm sure it's random, that the uh, standard Gibbs free energy as less than zero. So I'm gonna do the same thing. 
I'm going to, to do it. It says that, that um, delta S negative, that should be delta again. I'm really bad at this, I'm sorry. Delta S negative is greater than, uh, than enthalpy over temperature. All right, so I put that as false. Go to the next one, I remind myself what it is, and then realize if all of that is less than, than zero, then K has to be greater than one and then and the uh, natural log of k has to be greater than zero well that means all of those are false okay so in the case that everything is false what's really false is that delta g is less than zero if all of them are false and only one of them is supposed to be false according to the directions only one needs to be false that means that all of the other ones are actually true, and the one that's false is that the Gibbs standard energy is less than zero, okay? So I'm gonna set that one as false. And so in my first case, it was the last one that was false, and in the second case, because all three were considered false, I knew that it was the other one that was false. So I hope this kind of a problem, uh, you might actually have to watch this a couple times, but I think you can do it if you just uh, start manipulating your, your formula, your equations, and I wish you well.